Welcome to part six, Sheffield's Lost Railways. I'm in a very familiar place here. Um, I did one of my first ever Disuse Railway explores on this section of Disuse Railway line. This is the Blackburn Valley Trail. Sheffield now so this trail runs from Meadowall um, up towards um, up towards Chapel Town there's a couple of stations I'm gonna look at on this um, on this episode uh, and the first is right behind me although it's well hidden at the moment by the bushes and things and the foliage and that's that's Winkerbank and Meadowall actually have I got that the wrong way around just been up talking about the other one I haven't have a sorry this is meadow hall and winkerbank i was always uh, gonna get those two mixed up so it's even more overgrown than when i came last time isn't it you can barely see it is it even still in use as a, as a premise ah so it is still yeah there's it's lived in in the end bit isn't it though Beautiful building, isn't it? It's really gorgeous. So we're just being told it is uh, it's still lived in, uh, and the old extended bit, um, which part of the station would you call that, Jim? Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's the uh, gentleman who no, works well, that was the offices, workshop. wasn't it? The, the offices. That was the station offices and the ticket office and what have you. So we are around on the platform side, on the railway side. You know, it's very dark in there. The station house is just there, so I'm guessing that there must be platforms somewhere underneath, underneath that mound. photograph from uh, from Roger Wainwright it must have been nine months since I asked him if I could use this photo so he might have forgot um, that shows it I think I can't remember the year on the photo but the lines still down but obviously the station has long since uh, closed so we're open in 1868 as Meadow Hall two words it was renamed Meadow Hall and Winkerbank at some stage um, and it closed as a station in 1953. The line you see was in use until 1987. So disused station number two um, in this episode, the Blackburn Valley Trail. And just behind me there is the station of Grange Lane or the station house, I believe. That's all that's left. Narrow street. Remember this being a bit busy when I uh, when I came last came last time. Sure, he's just overtook us. It's a very busy trail. This I've seen so many cyclists and pedestrians. Um, so Grange Lane opened in 1855 like the last station we saw at Winkerbank closed in 1953 now look at the old photograph somewhere on the left hand side here was a good shed it's significantly more overgrown than when I came last time I have to say now, we did see some station platforms um, I think we'll be lucky to see any brickwork today 
got an old photograph from uh, Picture Sheffield. I think I remember showing you it last time. Um, I'll flash it on screen, but just looking at it just to get a, a perspective. So signal box on the left, just in front of the station building that you can't see now for the trees and the good shed on this side and there's the platform and I said a second ago didn't I, I said a few um, a few minutes ago that I'd be amazed if I could see any platform I don't know if I want to wade in here because I've only got shorts on but look there's the platform edge look ow apologies can you see that? Still well covered up, but I am I'm chuffed to say there is a little bit of platform on, on show. Yes, reach over there. That's a bit clearer, isn't it? There we go. And you can see the platform going all the way, all the way back not been nettled this year yet not really been anywhere have I but we walk along the trail here what's the track bed and you can see for quite some distance on both sides you can't see any platform edges on that side that's just a mound on that side but there's definitely I can still see the brickwork on the left hand side all the way up but yeah amazing it's great that those uh, platform edges are still there it's quite a lengthy platform isn't it it is i've just i've walked right yeah. down there i've just literally got to the end of the fair old way yeah longer than you think Not longer, yeah. Yeah. so there was a junction just uh, just in front because this was where um there was a colliery branch line to grange colliery went off just to the north of the station the line went behind the station crossed the road we just walked down uh, and went off into Grange Colliery there is one more station I'm oh, sorry there's more than one more station but there's one more station I'm going to mention in this video just a little further up that's Ecclesfield East now it's absolutely pointless paying a, a visit to Ecclesfield East because uh, there's really nothing to see or nothing that you can rummage around um, you couldn't even get on the land it was all fenced off the last time I was up there I think what we're looking at on the, on the right hand side here is, uh, is the remains of, uh, of the Ecclesfield East station now it's quite disappointing somebody did tell me uh, before I came here that this, uh, this was being fenced off so I'd, I'd like to have uh, kind of got in there for a look round because there are uh, there's, there's nothing left of the station the, there's some platform edges I can see there in the undergrowth but put you over the fence it's probably a better idea so there's a huge pile of concrete sleepers there and uh, and in the distance I can see the other side of the yard So that's the end of this episode so um cheers for watching we'll see you on the next one because we're off up to chapel town to have a look at a couple of things around chapel town now so i'll see you later oh winker winko w-i-n-c-o 